freezing. My fingers are going to drop off flying that drone, even from scraping the car. But today, we're just going to have to do a quick short one as I'm going out later. What I first need to talk about is the difference between the flare on the brake lines. Now, I've made two sample pieces, so we'll move over to the car. I'll explain that, and then we'll go into refurbing some parts. First of all, you saw me make this flare, which is known as a double flare. The flare that should have been created is this, which is known as a bubble flare. So if you put the two together, you can see our one chamfered going outwards that way, and the other one's flat and curved over the top or concave. Now, I'll explain the differences between them and why I did the wrong one, really because I was learning, never done it before, and the difference between the flares. We used the flaring tool in the last episode, and we used this 3 16ths here. To make the double flare, we first crushed it with this 3 16ths button, or compression thing, whatever it is, and then we just clamped that down, and it opened it up to reverse it, cone sort of shape, like the end of a trumpet, basically. Now, to do the bubble flare, which is the one it needs to be, see how this is chamfered on one side? Simply do it on the other side that's flat. You don't need to flare it twice, you just crush it with that. Creates your mushroom sort of flare. I'll just show you quickly without using the vice. I'm gonna get your button, push it in like that, take your clamp. So once that's on, you simply just wind it down. The left of it looking like that. There it is, mushroom flare. Now if you're wondering the reason why we do that, but it all depends on what it's marrying up to. Now the piece inside the master cylinder, what that's marrying up to is concave, like a curve, so it looks like that inside. So the idea is when you push that into there, it keeps the pressure. Now if you put the wrong one in, like I've done, cone shape, when you push that in there, it creates a bigger hole and also a pocket for brake fluid to sort of marry up and a weak point. When you push the brake, there is a chance that that could explode or it could come out. So it's important that we do the right flare, but as again, I've learned the hard way by making the mistake, I'm listening to you guys on how to rectify. So with that done, that's how to do a bubble flare. Things I need to do, which has been outstanding, is respray and uh, make this slave cylinder bracket look nicer. So we're gonna rub that down, prime it, and get it sprayed. So let's do that in style, style, style. <laughs> Why don't we go for the uh, chrome look in style? It's a bit pitted here. So I'm hoping the primer will fill that out. That's what it looked like before. That's what it looks like new. So we'll do the other side and then get it primed. <laughs> Just got a bit of paraffin on this now, or panel wipe. I'm just going to clean it off to get rid of any dust that may be in the way, and it'll just evaporate, ready for us to prime it. While that is drying, I think we shall slip into mini of the week. I've had so many entries sent this week, so keep coming. If you didn't get picked, don't worry, it's still in the pipeline for more upcoming episodes. So, cue the intro. <laughs> So, first of all, in this week's mini of the week, we have Posse, Posse, Posse. First thing I just would like to highlight, I have had so many entries over the past two weeks and I'm not ignoring them. They're getting saved in the file and I do look at them every time I do an episode. You probably see this blue mini in the background now, but this week's mini of the week, I do apologize if I can't pronounce the name properly. It's all the way from Canada. His Instagram name is RVR Mini and it's from a guy, is Rushab Shah. Now, if that's wrong, I apologize. And he saved me a job this week. All I have to do is make you laugh before the video, hopefully with the Pussy, pussy, pussy. And yeah, let's move on into it because he's gonna do the commentary and he's gonna show you around this what we would call Man City Blue Mini. If anyone doesn't know what that means, that means Manchester City Football Club Blue. So let's move on and I'll shut up. Hi guys, today I have my 1997 Rover Mini SPI to show you. So this car is in Canada right now where I live, but um, it was actually a Japanese import. It was a Rover Mini with a single point injection for 97. So a lot of the 97 Minis actually were MPI, just multi point injection, because they have the space to do it. But in this car, since they had the air conditioning, they didn't have that. And inside we got this nice 
Ford Shrimp, model you know, wheel, 29,000 kilometers. The car also has this really pretty leather interior, which I really like. Some additions I've made are the roof rack, just today actually, Revolution. So under here we have the single point injection engine, alloy rocket cover, aluminum radiator with silicone pipes. You can follow my Instagram. You can see all the progress I made. Guys, thanks for sending in the Mini of the Week. Beautiful car right there. So if you want to find out how to get yours featured in Mini of the Week, just check the description below, all the instructions are there. Or if you still don't understand it, drop me a comment and I will reply to you. Whilst you've been looking at that beautiful Mini, we'll move over to what I've just been doing while the video's been Made that piece of line there with the correct bubble flares on the end. I've done it a lot neater this time. I think Dave Jaguar and a few other people pointed out one of the methods to get it bent perfect is to use like a coat hanger. But what I used is this. Because my mum's quite modern, she doesn't really use metal coat hangers anymore. So she uses a, that's not a dig at anyone by the way. But luckily because I'm a spark, I've got some brown 1.5 mil singles. I just twisted it together for a bit more sturdiness, offered it up and then bent it round into shape and then bent the copper into shape and then cut it. But there's one of Tom's top tips, even though I didn't come up with the top tip, I passed the top tip on from someone else. So the top tip was not actually Tom's top tip, but the top tip was shared on Total Cash reviews top tips if that makes sense so after a good old priming session this is what we're left with and it looks beautiful so let's get some black paint on that right now pal <laughs> been loads of dust lying around here from when the car was sprayed and the guy that I did fall out with and there'll probably be a documentary on BBC this week about him because he's a major ripoff. but I won't go into that I'll let you see the documentary and then you can decide for yourself so we're gonna get rid of some of the dust here so I'm gonna jack up the car remove the wheel and then we're just gonna give it a bit of clean try and keep on top of it because I don't want it looking bad That was just a quick clean with the car. When the car is finished, I'm hoping that someone will let me use a ramp and I can get right underneath it and clean it all and get some amazing pictures, throw them onto my website and then that way I can actually show people what I've done to the car. Now the time's passed, that is nearly dry, the bracket was sprayed, so we'll have a quick look at it. It probably won't be done today, but I'll show you that anyway. Sadly guys, that is going to have to bring it to an end. The main thing is that I'm trying to get one out a week for you. So if you want your mini featured in next week's video, have a look in the description, read what you've got to do. If not, drop me a comment, like I said, I'll reply. Head over to my website, I've just jigged it around a bit and put a few more videos on there just to check it out, tell me your opinions, how I can make it better. I'm hoping to open a blog page on it so you can upload your comments and show me your cars and we can have like a chat feed on it. So that'd be nice to bring. So, and then if you do feel like supporting this channel, because there is a lot of time that goes into these videos, on average they're taking me 10 hours to edit and a day to film. If you want to fund the next build and have a say in what we build and what we do just head over to go from me have a read see what you think if you made it there and you don't donate i appreciate you taking the time to give it a read but all in all thanks <laughs> my breath after that but all in all thanks for watching do what you do best hit subscribe smash that like button and i'll see you in the next one. Oh, and ding dong that bell so you get notifications when the next video is up